Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this. This is the Inside Scoop, uh, Newcastle United's latest news. Uh, some of it you already know, but hopefully got some surprise news for you. But uh, please hit the subscribe button, the bell button and the thumbs up button. Watch the video to the end if you can. That would be absolutely fantastic. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're feeling generous, please become a member. 99p a month gets you into members only prize draws at least once a month. And we've got, obviously, uh, John Sinclair's famous season ticket that never gets used uh, for the Wolves game, which will be drawn on Saturday. So please consider becoming a member. And obviously, check out Sports Trader, the charity we sponsor. Great stuff. Trying to create a level playing field for disadvantaged children and disabled children, buying them the gear that they need. The uh, shop will be open soon, and we'll be buying prizes from them to give to you guys. Uh so on to the latest news. Uh, you might have seen it on Twitter or on uh, the Premier League uh, website or through your mates, but uh, they are going to move to five substitutions permanently uh, as of next season. Uh, I am on the fence with it, to be honest with you. It really does favour the bigger teams like Man City, Chelsea, Man United, you know, Tottenham, the teams that have got basically squad depth. Uh, which Newcastle United don't have at the moment, but we will have. So it will benefit us in the future. Uh, but do we really want to see six substitutions in the last two minutes because we're trying to see a game out or trying to get an equaliser to the throne everyone on? Uh, it really is going to slow the game down a little bit and maybe peter out games when it shouldn't. Uh, so I'm on the fence with this one at the moment. I really am. Uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, but I do think it will it will favour the bigger teams to start with, but then it will get better, fingers crossed. So that's the first bit of news. And the second one is it's about a potential summer signing. Uh, obviously, you need to keep an eye out on the channel because we are going to be talking about a lot of different summer signings in the future. Uh, we're going to have some shows on it, but uh, this one's come out of the, out of the blue from uh, HP1, who's told me, uh, we are really looking at the young French defensive midfielder, Gay. Uh, he's really having a fantastic season uh, at Marseille. Uh, and he is someone that we're very interested in signing. So let's take a look at him, basically. So he's had 19 appearances this season, total in 935 minutes. He's got one assist. Uh, as you can see, his spider graph is not fantastic, but... Uh, but he's only going to get better. He's only 22, 23. Yeah. You know, a bit of history about him as well. He did actually sign for Watford, but his contract was incorrect. So we had to cancel it. And he ended up at Marseille instead. Uh, he does have two goals for them in 47 appearances in total. Uh, but this is what his season's been like so far. He's really made a name for himself being a defensive midfielder. Uh, this is his contract. It's not verified, so it might not be fully correct, but the terms of it is there's 26 months left on his contract, so it will be a fee. Uh, but as you can see from the wages as well, you'll probably favour the move to the Premier League because you'll get paid more. Uh, here's some more information on him. So on the right with those statistics is what a, an average defensive midfielder would normally do in 90 minutes. And as you can see, he's a little bit behind that in total, but this is because he's only just starting to show his potential now. Uh, the one thing I do like about him is where he plays the ball. So as you can see, B for back, very rarely goes back to the goalkeeper, to his defenders. He wins the ball, he looks up and he goes forward the most. And he does look right to left as well. Uh, and that's a sign of a player who likes to win the ball and get the game moving. So, you know, very interesting stats there and very good stats as well, which is what I like. Uh, as you can see, again, this will only get better uh, as the season goes on. Uh, you know, his recovery is 4% of the team. His passes 4% of the team. Two shots on target. He's a defensive midfielder, so I don't know why they put shots in there, but they do. Uh, his recovery is fantastic. Uh, so he is a player that is definitely on the up. Uh, and this is his sofa score. So this is over 12 months. And as you can see, 6.85 is a very good score. Uh, he's almost averaging seven, which means he has a good game in nearly every game. His lowest score is 6.6. .6. His highest is seven on the dot. Uh, if you can just push that seven up to a 7.5 to an eight every now and again, that score is going to get even better. And it will over time because he's young, he's learning, 
and he's really starting to show his potential now. Uh, so this could be a very good player for us. He has played for the French under 18s and 19s, but he does actually play for Senegal. Uh, so he's obviously chose his alliance outside of France, even though he was born in France, but he's, he's gone with his uh, nationality of his parents. Uh, now I've compared him to Bruno because again, this is where Bruno's going to be playing. And as you can see, Bruno Glamerez's stats are just far better uh, at the moment. Uh, but again, the club has made no mistake about it. They want quality in every single position, at least twice. And John Joe Shelby's getting on a bit. Uh, so we do need a young, fresh squad and, and gear as his potential. He's making a name for himself. This is a guy who who will strengthen our squad massively, especially with five substitutions. You know, there'll, there'll be more minutes from subs these days. Uh, so it's very good. So basically the... The news is is that Pape Gea's agents have been in touch with our agents to to look to finalise a move, basically, to, to get the ball rolling on it, which is very, very interesting and, and very encouraging with the summer not even here yet and safety not even fully assured. But let's face it, we're safe. Uh, some more information, unfortunately, on Trippier. He's still in light training uh, for another week. And he's targeting the Norwich game for a return, which is three, four weeks away, but it's only three, four games away. So it's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, normally you have midweek games in between there. So it's normally six or seven games or something like that. Uh, but we're lucky it's not that bad. Uh, I've also had some information on the budget. Apparently it's 90 million plus player sales. Now that is interesting because player sales with about eight to 10 players going out the door, that could easily equate to 50 million. And that means the budget's between 130 and 150 million pound. Now, the only issue with that, we need a striker. And that's going to cost 60 million if we want Nunes, uh, which is what's obviously been touted about. Uh, so let's see what happens in that department. Uh, and obviously, Miggy's up for sale for 20 million euros, not 20 euros. I was very tired that morning. And Napoli are looking to replace their outgoing striker, not with the one that I said, because he plays for Napoli. Uh, and that's just because I read the message wrong. But Newcastle and Man United are interested in him. So let's see what happens there as well. Uh, so that's some of the news you may not have heard of anywhere else. So hopefully that's some breaking news for you. Uh, on to more local news about the club. So... They've opened a new shop in the Metro Centre. So if you're in the Metro Centre area, the new Newcastle shop is open to buy your goods. And the Newcastle Foundation has a new home in the community. It was opened by Shola Ramiobi, the trustee, uh, and also Eddie Howe and Jamal themselves were also in attendance for that, which is quite nice of them to do that. Uh, other news, uh, Coutinho is back in the, in the news again. Obviously, he's on loan at Villa at the moment. Uh, but looking for a way out in the summer. And apparently Newcastle are at a high on that list. I thought Arsenal were the favourites. Uh, but with his wages of about 380 k a week, it's a lot of money. Uh, and then obviously maybe a fee there as well. It's going to be an interesting summer for Coutinho. I would love him as our number 10 or an Ericsson because uh, he's a free as well. Uh, but it all depends on his... You know, whether he's Arsenal are in Europe or in the Champions League, you probably want to go there instead, uh, which you can't blame him because he's getting on a bit. Uh, and the last bit of news for Sunday, uh, we will be doing the look ahead uh, tonight, which is Thursday at 7 o'clock. It's in an hour's time. But uh, Shaw does have a groin injury. Uh, he has had it for a while. But hopefully, hopefully you'll pass a late fitness test on Sunday because him and Dan Byrne have been absolutely fantastic as a centre-back pairing and we don't want to lose that on Sunday. We need them playing if we want to get anything from the game. Uh, but you'll have a late fitness test and, and we'll take it from there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that's given you some information you haven't heard elsewhere. Uh, and hopefully it all comes true. But please hit that subscribe button if you've enjoyed it. Hit the bell button. Hit the thumbs up button. War Bobby wants you to hit the thumbs up button. War Bobby, right there. <laughs> and please consider becoming a member. That would really help the channel grow much faster and, and do much more members' prize draws only. So you, not only are you putting money into the channel, it's going to go to charity uh, and to the channel itself to try and get this running bigger and better. 
uh, and there will be some fun, some breaking news coming from the channel in the near future. So keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, but hopefully I'll see you all at eight o'clock for the look ahead. And I'll also be doing a match watch along on Sunday. And then straight after it, we'll be doing a, a match review as well. So full time. So please tune in when you can. Great speaking to you.